This video is brought to you by BizWire TV, where your news is made. When you look at computing today, one of the biggest trends is artificial intelligence. And the idea of machine learning, with, which is the idea of algorithms being able to learn themselves and improve, and we see a tremendous opportunity in terms of applying algorithms to the world of investor relations. Um, and then as well, on the other side, is what's known as natural language processing, and, or also known as NLG, natural language generation. And this is the ability of software to read and understand natural language, like English, um, or to also be able to provide information in natural language statements. You can think of like Siri for investor relations. So instead of asking Siri, like, can you tell me where the closest pizza joint is? You could ask um, an application about what are the biggest changes in my ownership over the last week uh, and having the software answer that question in a natural way. We are using a, certainly a ton of data sources. And what we're really looking for is uh, the data that's coming in from various markets. So we look at equity markets, we look at the options market, and we're really looking for very specific price points and volume points uh, to go into the algorithms, as well as we take things like fundamentals for company fundamentals, uh, and we really kind of meld all these together. This is really like big, big data. So, um, you know, we're talking about tick by tick data in terms of trading just on a daily basis. But the kind of stuff where you're really able to understand and derive meaning out of is when you look at historically like 10 years worth of data sure. uh, and 10 or 15 years worth of data. And if you're doing that both in terms of on the options market uh, and with equities, that's where you're really looking at this massive amounts of data. But the challenge is, is how to derive meaning out of that. What we're really seeing in the space is the ability to take um, these, these algorithms or, or natural language uh, processing, the artificial intelligence, and really looking for footprints of activist uh, investors. So really looking at historical uh, trading patterns, looking at fundamentals of companies, and really trying to evaluate, you know, what does it really typically look like when an activist comes into a stock? And really kind of with regression analysis, work backwards into that. The role in, in IR in many cases, especially as the markets have become more and more opaque and complex and quicker, is to be able to really understand what's driving my stock today. That's where we see the, the opportunity of, of NLP or artificial intelligence in general, is it's not about kind of being able to understand all the mass amounts of data that are out there in the market because it's just overwhelming. It's really about having software that can distill it all down into two or three sentences that give you the exact piece of information that you need right now. This industry has always been kind of been, had this moniker of, of more, uh, more art than science. And really what this idea of kind of a next generation, generation surveillance really is, is this idea of bringing in technology, bringing in quantitative analytics, bringing in sophisticated mathematical algorithms. Uh, the moniker can really be switched around on its head and say that it is more science than art.